So I would usually build rifles more along what I had when I was in the Marines. You know, something with a carry handle and an integrated front sight. But the last couple of parts kits I bought, it was cheaper to go with a flat top. I like how flat top looks, but I'm a little bit nostalgic for the fixed front sight post and the carry handle. And uh, I really don't like just relying on optics. So 2 watt or T2, I don't even know what they're called, but I've done a lot of work with it before. And they sell a bunch of inexpensive rifle accessories, primarily through Amazon. Uh, probably high-end airsoft stuff. These backup sites were like $18.59 in prime shipping, which really isn't a lot to be putting on a true battle rifle. But on a play gun like my golf ball launcher, it's not bad and I'm willing to try it out. And they've been holding up okay. You know, they've, they've took a good bit of um, golf balls launched out of the gun. They had really shook loose. But their flip-up backup iron sights are BUISs. There's a little button here on the side. Press it, and it pops up. And it's pretty sturdy. It's, I don't feel any shake at all when I move it around, just the, the whole gun is shaking. And it's like a typical AR-15 type rifle. It's got a pin. You push the pin down, and you can turn it. And each click moves it up or moves it down to adjust your line of sight. And on the rear, not only is it still a flip up same way but it has the uh, different apertures so you have the small precision hole and then you have the bigger battle sight zero and I find when I put the front sight it's basically co-located with my reticle it's a slightly bit lower but uh, the front sight post is very blurry um, can't really use it, but I can look if this is on the big uh, hole, the battle site hole. I can look through and actually see my reticle through the center of my scope. However, it makes it very um, small. Like the aperture to look through makes it very small. So I don't use it. I just keep the thing down until I need it. It's $18.59, and for $18.59, it's, it's really solid. Uh, not bad. However, comma period exclamation point. I'm not sure if I want to uh, put my life on the line for an $18.59 prime shipping uh, set of backup sites. Because if you go to your backup sites, you've already took it some sort of damage because then your scope's not working. But, uh, you know, this gun really ain't worth $100 set of backup sites. So... You know, everything is a trade-off, and I'm quite happy with these for the money.